Fresh and Famous Radio. How did the pack start up? Uh, basically, I, I started it uh, with um, Stunner Man, and I was like, you know, uh, you know, we're going to start a click, uh, we're going to start a click called just Wolf Pack, just the crew, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the crew right. called the Wolf Pack. We didn't, we didn't rap, nothing like that. We were just, we were just like, it was really just the two of us. And then after a little while, uh, I had met Brandon, who was Lil B, bass guy. And um, I met Lil B, and um, he, he actually rapped before before I did and before Stunner did. So he would just rap in my house. And at the time, I was making beats uh, here and there. So, you know, he would get on some of my beats. And then um, we asked Lil B to be in the Wolf Pack. So he just started rapping. So, you know, he kind of got everybody on the music. I, especially yeah. with Stunner, you know, he kind of got Stunner into rapping. So uh, they started rapping. I wasn't rapping yet, but um, they, them two was rapping. So, and then we went to this little uh, cotillion party downtown San Francisco, and that's where we met Lil Uno. And then you know, Stunner. We didn't really know him that well before he got in the group, but Stunner was just like, you know, put him in the group. It's cool. It's a good look. So he got in the group, and he didn't, he didn't really have no experience with rapping. So uh, we kind of had to teach yeah. him a little bit, sort of, you know, whatever. Uh, and then after probably, I would say like after like maybe like eight months after everybody started rapping, then I started rapping. So I started rapping a little <laughs> bit late, but um, it, it, it turned out pretty cool. I, I, the band song was probably like one of the first songs that I had actually rapped on. That's amazing, man. And it's funny too because I put it on Twitter like I'm about to interview an artist from the pack. You know, I don't want to get too specific. I don't want them to wait till yeah. Sunday. And I already had like I got like like by the time I put that like two minutes later I got like five tweets saying from who from who who is it who is it so that's how you yeah, guys yeah. know that you was you, you you getting your groove on you know <laughs> so yeah, that's what's up man what's going on with crump music right now or, uh, not even so much crump music but you know just that hypey type stuff what's going on with that well we was we were a part of the hypey movement like we played a, a part uh -huh. in the hype movement you know what I'm saying but I, I wouldn't necessarily say that we always have been we haven't always been a high key group we had some songs right. that you could categorize as high key but you know we didn't really we we helped the movement we, we played our part but the movement honestly is basically almost non-existent right now and a lot of artists you know who, who are following who are in a part of the high key movement aren't around and some some are though like some are still around but a lot of them aren't around so you know we kind of had to jump off of that shit before it, before we got drowned. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of what we what we did. I mean, we, we played a part, but our music has always been different from everybody else's, in my opinion. I tried to make you know a few beats or whatever, but it's kind of you know I didn't really kind of get the feel for it. You know, I, I was always off beat and everything like that. How hard is it to make beats, man? <laughs> Making beats for me is like getting putting the outfit together and getting dressed. That's how that's how it is to be. <laughs> What's coming up for the future? What, what you got going on in the future? Um, we got the Pack album, which is the most important thing on my timeline, which is dropping um, August 24th of this year. Um, so that's within the next couple of months that's dropping. Uh, we got a lot of things in the works. We just we just shot a did a magazine spread for uh, that, that we submitted to Urban Ink magazine with the tattoos and shit. So that should be right. that should be out soon. Do you have a lot of tattoos? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got a lot of tattoos. Uh, gotta, <laughs> like more than Lil B, more than Lil B. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, you know, I love Lil B. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but uh, he not that, he not, he got that, like, he got that undercover <laughs> tattoo. Like, you know, he got the tattoo. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I keep, I used to try to get B to come with me to get tatted. He didn't, he didn't really, uh, he didn't really roll with me out. It doesn't really roll out with me to get tatted on. No, but, but I was the first person I got yeah. tattooed with, so he got me really yeah. into tattoos. But um, yeah, I do have more tattoos than Lil B. I got uh, my chest, my rib cage on the right side. I got my left arm, forearm basically finished. I got my right forearm basically finished. I'm just really working my way up from my hands, my hands to my shoulders, and then I eventually, hopefully, get my neck if if I feel like it's necessary, you know. But really, I'm just trying to cover my 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 torso and my arms right now. So you trying to you trying to you trying to catch up to uh, with Khalifa? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Wiz Khalifa definitely. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot of rappers. I'm not gonna name no names because I'm not. The, I'm not the type of person to call nobody out. But it's a lot of rappers, yeah. you know, that don't have that just get tattoos for the sake of getting tattoos, and they don't. 
look right. Like they just get tattoos just so you can, just so they can be tatted because it's a style. When really they should be taking their time and, and paying attention to every tattoo that they're getting to make sure that they're getting something that really represents them and, and really can be something that's unique. You know what I'm saying? Because every tattoo that right. you see me with, most likely, most likely, other than a couple of tattoos. You won't really see nobody else with unless they copy me. You know what I'm saying? Which I do have a couple people who yeah. have my same tattoos after I did. But, you know, unless they copy me or unless whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I take my tattoos seriously. You know, I, I'm taking my time with it. You know, and I'm, and I'm making sure that I don't regret none of my shit. Yeah. That's what's going on, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I got like, you know what I'm saying? I got like seven, you know, and, I, and I'm walking around. You know, like I'm, like I'm, like I'm, like I'm the stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah. That's the Through the media, what do you think about Cat Stacks, Nicki Minaj? You know, all these women yeah. really standing out in the game. What do you think about that? It's some. I mean, I I respect Nicki Minaj's hustle, and I respect her beauty, and I respect her. You know what I mean? Her 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 lyrical uh, potential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's some stuff I don't really agree with that she be saying, but she she gets my Give my props, you know what I'm saying? Most well, definitely. Right. As far as Cash Stacks, I mean, <laughs> Cash Stacks is, is a, she's a, a, she's honestly, I respect her internet grind. Like, I respect right. what she's doing, you know what I'm saying? She's causing controversy to get popular, and sometimes that's the best way for somebody to get popular, especially hey, if they 50 don't Hey, did it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially if they don't have a, a lane that they can really claim for their own, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they just gotta cause controversy. And she went out, and you know she went, she went hard as fuck. You know what I'm saying? She still goes going hard and and you know putting niggas on blast because niggas is fucking with her and shit. And you know what I'm saying being stupid. So you know, yeah. it's just, it's just, you know, I definitely, I respect both of those, both of their hustles. You know what I mean? I respect both of them. Right. And you know, I think, uh, they, I think Nicki Minaj is definitely uh, something that's gonna be real. She gonna, she gonna be real popping uh, coming up in the game. You know? What about uh? Her beefing with, or Lil Kim beefing with her, I should say. What do you think about oh, that? Yeah. Do you think it's like unnecessary or yeah. what? Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, the way it looks to me, I got respect for Lil Kim. You know what I mean? Because she she paved the way for artists like Nicki Minaj to, to proceed in in their career and actually make something of themselves. So I, I appreciate. I mean, I, I uh, you know what I'm saying I do respect her her presence and the presence that she used to hold in the game, but. As of now, if she was to come at Nicki Minaj, it just makes it seem like she's kind of just trying to trying to get her way back in the game by this is a new artist. And I know that she probably has she's justified in certain aspects because Nicki Minaj just got the little fake hair going like like Lil Kim. You know, she got the pose and a couple yeah. photos looking like Lil Kim. So I could see why she feels the way she feels. You know, but at the yeah. same time, it's like. You gotta draw the line. You can't be hating on people. You know what I mean? If somebody, right, right, right. you know, if somebody's doing what they do, you know what I mean, and they they doing it well, you can't hate on that. Twitter is where where I'm at. Like time, I don't really check my mom's face, but I'm on Facebook. Um, you can search uh, Young L on Facebook. You should find me on there. I got that as my middle name on Facebook, and uh, I'm also on Twitter at twitter.com/slash Young L Pack. I'm on there. If you need any production or any, you are trying to book me in any type of way, shape, or form, you want to email younglbeats at gmail.com. And also, if you're trying to book the pack or you just trying to, if you're trying to holler at the pack on Twitter, the Twitter is uh, at Real Wolf Pack. So that's really, um, that's really what it is. I be on Twitter all the time. To all those who don't know the pack, which you should already, um, they're the ones that have that, you know, it's my, and I can do it out on. I'm a big kid now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's my joint, man. That's my. I, I ain't even gonna lie. I was playing that like a few weeks ago, man. That's that's like that's like one of the classics right there. You know. Shout out to the pack. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Young L. Everybody, man. Lil B. Everybody doing their thing. You know. Do you want? Do you yeah. want to give out any shout outs, man? Um, I like to shout out my mom. You know what I'm saying? She really holds it down. My uh, my hustle. You know, she holds it down. My mom, my dad, the whole SF camp, my little brothers. Um, definitely the pack, Lil B, Uno, Thunder Man, um, shouts out to Will at SMC, and, uh, and Indie Pop, you know, who be managing us, holding it down, so, definitely shout outs, man. 
That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. We're about to wrap it up. I want to thank you for being on Fresh and Famous Radio, KBN Radio. That's, we got you, man.